Well said, Stephanie. Des, colleagues, this is a wonderful honor for me um, and a great privilege. It's obviously a personal recognition, but as someone who started life as a geographer and a geomorphologist and thought, well, yes, I'm beginning to understand nature, but lots of people around me don't understand nature, so trying to apply that knowledge has been but the guiding principle that I've worked on. And therefore, it's wonderful that in this organization, we recognize that fundamental of understanding nature, working with it, and demonstrating, as has been shown this afternoon, this wonderful practice. And let's keep that going. And of course, we've got a new challenge. We may think that God, us English people, although I live in Scotland now, but got it wrong last week. But we've got some opportunities. And if we, in this institute, don't take them up, we made a mistake. And what I'd like us to think of is to advocate a new agenda, to think about a paradigm shift in the way that we, society as a whole, look after our environment. I read terms like no net loss of biodiversity. That's terrible. We shouldn't be talking about net gain, despite all of the problems that we know that there are. We hear about uh, preserving 17% of the land and 1% of the water as part of one of the HE targets. Have you not heard of the half the nature thinking around the world? We should be adopting that approach. Of course, we need to be skilled negotiators with a whole range of stakeholders who don't even understand what we're talking about. So we need to understand their language. And we need to interact with the wealth community, the education community, the health community, as it's obvious that we're doing through the awards this afternoon. And I'd like us to see developing new schemes. Let's make Natura really 21st century, because it ain't. You know it's called a network? I've never seen the network yet. Is it funded? It's not funded properly. We haven't got proper management schemes. We now have the opportunity to do that. So let's not throw that Natura baby out, or let the UK Treasury and the devolved administration throw it out. Let's make sure that we have a Natura for the future that we can be proud of. And also, can we get rid of the cat? Isn't that wonderful? Think about it, you know? The disastrous bill of one, should we be not, as we have been doing for many years in the NGO movement, developing a new environmental management scheme for all the farmland and all the sporting land throughout the country? That would be a breakthrough, wouldn't it? By gosh, that's a hard road to plow, but it's something that we should be thinking about. And we should be advocating and helping to implement these whole landscape and seascape approaches that many of us are involved in. If we do that, then we increase the <coughs> profile of the profession, which is vitally important. We want to be listened to alongside the Civil Engineers Institute and the World Town Planning Institute, because we're just as important, I would say, we're more important than them. And of course, all of that will further enhance the credibility of the Chartered Institute itself. So let's make sure that we make timely and relevant inputs on key issues. We continue to demonstrate best practice on the ground, and we celebrate it each year. But not just amongst ourselves, but we celebrate it to all those people outside who ought to be knowing about it and adopting it. And let's expand our membership, of course. Let's expand it in diversity as well. Remember, the scientific base and the knowledge base is very important. And wearing my sort of honorary professorial hat, let's have more academic and research institute people involved to help all of you uh, professionals in the practice. And of course, it goes without saying that we must, and I've almost finished, uh, maintain the highest professional standards, the CPD approach, all of the codes of conduct, 
and make sure that if there are disciplinary challenges, we are absolutely top in the way we deal with them. And finally, you would expect me to say, wouldn't you, this is in two months' time, it's the World Conservation Congress in Hawaii, uh, the CEO is a member, Let's uh, make our views and our expertise known in that international arena and let's network with all that even wider network so that we can bring that better practice even more so to the UK. Thank you very much indeed.